So I hope I am not going to be the desert for you after lunch. Uh, so what we are going to talk about is uh, you, youth. A very relevant photograph you can see here. Uh, for the dress, it's very important to have a mobile, right? Uh, that's where we stand. And uh, oh, a little bit, I'm not very familiar with this toy. How slow? Okay. Okay. So this is what uh, we do. Uh, we have the Youth Insight Agency. This is the first time of the world in India we have a youth agency and we are working for the last one decade for different brands and uh, we have collaboration with, uh, okay, now how slow, okay. Can somebody click for me? That's easy. Okay. Go back a little bit. Okay. So we have collaboration with all these guys, you can see. Um, we have collaboration with Sea Scout, we have collaboration with Nike. With Nike, we have a long standing collaboration almost for the last seven years, and BBC also. Few of the brands for whom we work Skull Candy, the new edition, they have the headphone. And yeah, a little bit disclaimer whatever photographs, whatever pictures, whatever things you see in this presentation is not mine. I collected it. So don't blame me. And uh, the picture what you see here is only for visual representation. I am not representing a political party, I am not representing a spiritual or religious belief. It's only for you. That's okay. Yeah. This is why I talk about youth. We have a population of 250 million, the population of Australia. The population of 250 million who is below the age of 24, that's where we stand. We are the highest mobile subscriber in the world. We beat China last year. Uh, we are going to be the highest population. As uh, Mr. Madhavan was saying, we are very low in production, but not here. <laughs> yeah. Next slide. This is why we are important. In 2030, we are going to be the youngest country in the world with the highest population in the world. Uh, where China is growing so slow because they have a one-child policy, Thanks to us, we have this green population with us. Uh, whereas Japan is going to be in 70s, the whole Japanese are going to be 70s, and the whole workforce is going out of this country because all the aged people will be staying in different countries, right? And we need to serve them. And this is where uh, I divide youth. Please, please understand this is not an economic divide. It's only socio-psychological divide. This divide is on the basis of how we think and what we believe. So we divide uh, youth in three segments in this country. Bharatiyas, them who stays majorly into sector two or sector three cities. Uh, they are more uh, towards Bollywood, Kollywood, local movie inspired generation. Then we have 31% of Indians who is basically the middle class or upper middle class stays in sector one and sector two cities. Uh, they are the one who is growing very fast. 1.5% uh, is Inglodian, those uh, who think they are the global citizen, they go to shopping in Singapore each weekend. So <laughs> it's easy to understand in that way, right? If I give you a lot of numbers, it's very tough, right? So and we did a survey in 17 cities in India and we found these are the priorities for us. Uh, and this is where we differ from many countries. It says 53% priority goes to family, 39% uh, priority goes to career, and for love we have only 8% priority. Right. Very interesting why. It's very interesting why because uh, this is where many product fails to understand. Coke recently changed their advertisement saying, say, saying that it's a family drink. Earlier they used to say it's a cool drink for you, right? Uh, that is because of this factor. Right. And that is where I stand to tell them how to change the product. Yeah. Family, family need not be only the family where we have the foods together, but it can be friends, yeah, family. And the occasions, we have almost one occasion in each month to attach families together. Important, very important for us, education, where we stand. Uh, we are being told that we are the nation of geeks, right? We have so many technologies, techies in the country. 
but we are supporting many countries with our technology in the background. If you remember in, uh, in USA, they have a Spell B competition for last three years, it's being owned by NRIs, Indians, right? Uh, yeah, next. So what I will talk about is few triads of Indians and what is specialized uh, to differentiate us from others. So one of them is called, I call them as social sizing, whatever you can call yourself. Uh, social sizing is a system a visual representation of what is big, what is small, and how it comes to the product variation. Yeah, slide. If you see the, the historical paintings, sculptures, we have a very different way of representing good and bad. Uh, if somebody is good, they are supposed to be big. <laughs> if somebody is small, they are supposed to be very small. Right? I call them as a social sizing, and this is where the brands also needs to understand how to put a product in a certain segment. If a product is supposed to be good, it is supposed to be big. Poster? Uh, this is how we have a social sizing in our system. If somebody is very small, they are very small. Yeah. A few other examples. Uh, Mr. Ambani's house all above the top of the rest of the house because he wants to show us that he is big, right? Uh, all the cutouts and all those, I love those garlands, right? The biggest the garland is the most powerful man inside. Yeah. Uh, icon worshipping, we love to worship icons. We tend to convert anybody as icon, right? We tend to convert anybody as God and how it happens, yeah. Uh, different posters I collected from different places, Anna has a latest edition. Uh, we, have, we have people. Now the interesting part is that it's not that this men or women wants to become that, but we make them that, right? And there are different representation, uh, statues of somebody, anyway. I don't want to talk about her. Uh, we want to present people in a different segment and we, ha we try to find out similarities among people. Right? In different ways. Uh, and we pose them in a similar pattern. <laughs> and then when it happens, people start selling products. IB Boy is selling game on the name of Anna Hazare. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we tend to convert everybody as God. The same way we worship uh, Shiva Linga, we worship a, go, uh, a movie star, and the World Cup also. <laughs> That's where we stand. It's easy to become God, but it's very tough to become again God because we are easy to pull them down. Another character we have, very interesting character, we tend to portray those who is having power with multi appendages, right? Our icon has multi heads. Uh, whoever is powerful, we try to put more hands and legs on them, right? <coughs> now, how it affects a brand? Is it related to a product segment? Is it going to affect people in a different uh, psychology? Uh, this is how the posters are coming in. We try to put multiple characters in the same person. <laughs> Multi-heads. Yeah. And we like multifunction in the same product. Interestingly, if you see this, this is a case study what we did. It's a, it's actu actually, it looks like a lassi maker, but it's a washing machine. <laughs> in, uh, in, uh, in Punjab, Haryana, they are using a washing machine to create lassi. And uh, we did a small case study with Whirlpool. Whirlpool were, actually, they invented this washing machine, which is a top open. It was meant for India because Indians have larger clothes. We can't put it from down. So we had to have a top open and put it on top. Interestingly, people use that to make lassi. <laughs> right. And they were coming back to Whirlpool saying that, see, your machine is not working. <laughs> so we, we try to find out a lot of options from the same product. Right. The same mobile, we try to find out whether it's a torch. Whether it's having a powerful system, it is doing something else, we can throw it off to somebody. So we have tried to find out options. Like this side, if you see, it's actually a bike. We converted them into a car. And you can see it in Chennai. Right? 
In, in Rajasthan, it's called chakka ride. It's basically a, a two-wheeler converted into a three-wheeler, and it can carry 10 people together. What I mean to say, we like to find out a lot of options in the same product. Now, see this. We like those brands which has multiple faces on the same brand, right? None of the other country has the cheapest car in the same brand and the costliest car in the same brand. <laughs> right, it happens only in India. Uh, one of my friends in Japan said that his father said they will never buy a Land Rover because the company who now owns a Land Rover sounds like a, a tissue maker. Because in Japan, the, uh, the company which sells the highest number of tissues, napkins, is called Tato, T-A-T-O. Right? But that psychology we don't have. We like brands which is having multi-facets and we, we feel loyal to them because they have multi-hands, multi-appendages to them. That's why we like mobile which has three SIMs, two SIMs, four SIMs, right? <laughs> we hardly use one SIM, but why we need so many SIMs inside, right? It's very interesting for me because I call them as a definite peacock. Uh, like, as you know, the, the, the time spent for decoration <coughs> is going down because we have a lot of works to do. But interestingly, it's going up for men. Uh, and men are spending more time for decorating themselves than women. Yeah. So we have a syndrome <laughs> of becoming fair. <laughs> what is this? I was talking to become fair. You made it dark. I'm not much. <laughs> Take two. See, I'm not having a braid. You can see it's only tied up. <laughs> and anyway, I'm a man, right? If the survey says that man is spending more time than you and me is also in the same map. <laughs> no, no. Technology is also a part of decoration. Anything else? Let me share an uh, interesting fact we found last week. Uh, we were doing a project for Nike brands and uh, they were a little bit confused because The shoes are not selling well in India. <laughs> Brand to understand because until the unless you have something which is unique, which can't be copied, it's very tough to maintain in, in, in India because it's easy to come bring it in China. Right from India, we have 400 bucks Nike shoes in Sarojini Nagar, Delhi. Should we take a coffee break and come back? Uh, yeah, they say that uh, men spend 18 minutes in front of mirror, average a day. A uh, woman spends 13 minutes in front of a mirror, in a day. No, I was not there, so I don't know. <laughs> you are asking something which is very personal to men. <laughs> you are gone to bathroom. <laughs> we can't talk. <laughs> for him, not for me. <laughs> okay. So, we will go to next slide. Uh, the decoration is somewhere which is uh, very prominent in Indian psychology nowadays. 
a very interesting picture because uh, he is one of my uh, very favorite students. What he does, uh, he will take his face and put it in the movie posters and put it in Facebook. So every picture in the Facebook will be having his face and then the movie. What I mean to say, we are becoming self-obsessive because of different softwares. We are having uh, Facebook, we are having social networks. We like to take our own picture and show it. That's why the time of standing in front of mirror is increasing. Uh, getting fame is easy today. Why? Because anything can bring you fame. Right? For example, how many shoes you can put in a sleeping dog can also bring you fame. Right? He got 276 liking for this picture. <laughs> right? So, it's, it's, it's easy to show off what you are. Uh, what I mean to say, encoded otherness means, uh, in India, we have two kind of people, unfortunately. We have somebody called have-nots, and then we have somebody called haves. How have shows that they are not have-nots? One very important character for India to understand is color. Uh, we have very stereotype color fixed in our mind. The moment it becomes black and yellow, we start thinking about all these things. How many yellow cars we can see in road? But yellow is something which is a very strong color in Singapore. That's the most highest selling car in Europe is yellows, right? Uh, that's why Tata, Mr. Tata launched a, a, a nano in yellow and he thought it was going to be a hot cake, unfortunately. Anyway, <laughs> this is how the cars are in India, right? If you stand in the road and just see, it's only grays and whites and blacks and all those color. Why? Because those products which we consider an asset, we don't try to play with the colors with them, right? Still now, car is an asset in India. The moment it becomes a consumable goods, we'll try to change the colors a lot of ways. We work the same way for the mobiles. If you see your mobile, most of the mobiles are black or brown or silver, right? We don't play with mobiles because we think it's an asset. We are going to use it at least for three years, four years, right? The moment we think we'll use mobile for six months and throw off, then we can experiment with it. A few characters, what we have, uh, it's very important to understand this when we talk about products. We are over-decorated, we like color, and we are over-textured. You can see this relief in this side, he is over-decorated, uh, and it's all lot of decorations in that. If you see our stores, we like cows, right? If a store is selling a mass product, a product which is a grassroots product, has to be chaotic. Until unless it's a chaotic situation, mass will not go inside feeling that the products are available to them. <laughs> this is where uh, Mr. Biani stayed in Chennai for three months before he started Mega Mart. Uh, he stayed here and started one store called Saravana store <laughs> and understood how chaos works. Because until unless a place is chaotic, the mass India never goes there. You will see that. You will see a vegetable shop, maybe three shops, and one shop is fully crowded. The rest of the shops are not having anybody, right? Because we feel comfortable where more people are there, right? <laughs> we think that the place is selling something which is affordable, which is cheap, and we don't need to bargain about it, right? Now, just imagine a vegetable shop which looks like a Soroski crystal showroom. <laughs> All whites selling everything in a, grass, uh, in a glass pattern, and everybody is wearing gloves to sell a tomato to you. Will you be going there and buying it? That's where we are. Yeah. That's why uh, those who wants to show off that they have a little bit of more money, they want to wear something like this, right? A pale shade, less color, and mostly whites. Why? I'm studying him. <laughs> I'm studying him for the last three years trying to get his photographs in color. He never wears color, <laughs> right? Uh, why, why no color? First thing, it's very tough in India to maintain all white. I can't, right? I can't maintain one shirt more than a day to white because it's tough to maintain, right? That's why Mr. Biani failed. His first consignment of a shipment was 199 rupees white shirt in his store and nothing was moving. You can read it in, it happened in India, his book. He said that uh, the product was not moving because people can afford a white shirt, but they can't maintain a white shirt. Right? It's very tough to maintain white. That's what it stands out. 
those things which is too bright, too colorful, we think it's too cheap. Those things which is negotiable, we think it's, it's, it's cheap. Those things which looks like a fake, we think it's cheap. That watch photograph, you can see that side, I took it in Bangalore, it reads flat track. It's actually a fast track copy, it reads flat track, right? And there are many things like that. So what is classy in India is those things which is non-accessible or unaccessible, which is not easy to go inside. That's why you will see a lot of burdens outside, one security, second security, third security. The moment it happens, people think, oh, hey, something is great inside, right? Let us go, right? Mac is selling like a hotcake because it has a separate, different system which is not there in Windows. Half of the people doesn't understand what is there in Mac. That's why the differentiation comes in, <laughs> right? Those spaces which is vacant, we think it's, it's good, it's classy, right? Till, say, uh, Express Avenue was vacant, we used to think it's quite a nice place. Now, if you go, it looks like Central Railway Station, <laughs> right? Becoming Desi is becoming cool. That means you are trying to become more local, uh, lo uh, more towards where we belong to, towards the root. Uh, I did a study here, and we understood that the local slangs are growing up faster. It's a different uh, understanding ideology than the other generation, what they used to have. Other generation used to speak only the Western slangs, if they wanted to say, uh, show that they are cool. Now people are talking more on local slangs to show off that they are cool, right? So that's where the local ideology is moving, using local language in talking and semiotics is increasing. Uh, having local drinks is cool, uh, seeing local animation is cool, wearing Mr. Gandhi is cool. Why we wear denim? Can anybody say why we wear denim? We all wear denim, right? Pardon? Right. Let us go to next slide. This is what we found, people said about denim, they said it's rebellious, it's cool, it's free, and it's easy to maintain, it's cotton twill, it's classic, and all those things. But interestingly, behind denim, there is a little bit science. Go back to the next, yeah. You see this picture? Here we have something which is, I call as an adolescent brain. In adolescent brain, we have two zones. All of us we have, but this is how it develops. So we have a cortex section and we have a limbic section. A uh, cortex section is actually working like a cop. It, it controls our attitude, it controls our emotion, our behavior pattern, whereas the limbic section actually generates all those emotions. Uh, in, a, in a developing stage, in a teenage stage, till the age of 30, the cortex section will not develop much. That's why we are all emotive. We, we, we act more emotively. So we like those things which is related to generating emotions, like riding in a bike in hundreds in OMR, uh, chatting in Blackberry in front of parents with a girlfriend, uh, wearing Shea Guevara in the t-shirt. Interesting, Shea Guevara, we, uh, we, I roam around to teach in different uh, cities. I asked many about Shea Guevara, and uh, interestingly, in many sector two cities, they said that Shea Guevara was a rock star. <laughs> but we like to wear him, right? Same goes for Bob Marley also, <laughs> right? Uh, the same thing, those things which creates more emotion on, on us, we like to wear them. Denim is something which is related to rebellious nature of people. Why? Because you are not allowed to wear denim in the office. You are not allowed to wear denim in the school. You are not allowed to be in a denim in front of grandparents sometimes, right? Your, your dad will be saying that don't wear a denim because you can't uh, uh, touch the feet, right? Please don't wear it. Right? So those things create an emotion in our head saying that, okay, let us be rebellious, wear denim. Right? That's where the nature of denim comes in. Yeah. Uh, but we don't wear the same denim like us. Right? We have different segments of people wearing different types of denim. Uh, like for example, uh, uh, the Bhartiyas wear denim from the bargain shops, which is mostly having no label. Indians, we wear denim from the local brands or the fakes. And then on top, we have another segment who never buys denim in India. <laughs> we like to import denim from other places. Why? Because we want to show that we bought it from that city, right? I bought it in Malaysia, I bought it in Singapore, I bought it in Dubai, right? It's very interesting because I worked for Levi's, and Levi's was a little bit puzzled why the topmost layer of the denim is not selling, though people are wearing those denim. 
Then we found that the denim they are wearing is bought from New York Levi's, not in Indian Levi's, right? Because they want to show that denim is bought from somewhere else, not from India. So that's where the differentiation of the product comes in. There's nothing wrong in this segment, but brands have to understand it. Yeah. Uh, we are innovating languages. Uh, it's the generation which is creating their own language, own grammar. And some of the languages are going back into Oxford Dictionary also, like OMG, oh my God, is recently added in Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> we have our own language system. Uh, we use all those things in a different way. Different mix of languages, like we mix Tamil with English with Hindi and do something else in between, right? Uh, thanks to your Facebook, thanks to your uh, SMS chatting, we are creating languages. Unfortunately, the ad agencies are not understanding it. They are still speaking in the same language where they used to speak long back, last century. Right. Uh, this is a generation, this is the only generation I will say, of, out of last generation, who is talking about common good. Uh, we are more uh, eager to do common good for people, like how? Next slide. And it happens all over the world. Recent Anna Hazare's movement. Libya it happened, Egypt it happened, in London it happened. So this whole generation is more interested to do things for the society, though the earlier generation thinks that we are not doing anything for the society. Right? We are eager to do, let's, let's have a chance. Right? For example, uh, if you go for the software, slide, uh, mouth, uh, your uh, mouthshut.com is something which is a common good where we discuss about the product. Before somebody buys it, we give our free information to them. So I always go to Mountshot to check a product. And there are so many other things which is basically common good for people. Like for example, Wikipedia, uh, Pirate Bay, <laughs> right? So this is where this generation stands. We, we believe in open source, right? We don't believe in locking something and then selling it, right? Like the last generation, right? So this is where the whole scenario is moving towards a presentation scenario. Yeah. So this is what I am. Thanks. Yeah.